Hi everyone. The previous video you have studied the basic introduction of array. Array is a collection of similar type of elements. There are three types of arrays: 1D array, 2D array, and multi-D array. Multi-D array is very advanced, so we do not use it very much. The two very common types of array are 1D array and 2D array. D means dimensional. So this video is all about the 1D array. First, we'll study the syntax for uh, declaration and initializing of 1D array. The basic syntax is data type. Data type can be any four of the basic data types: int, char, float, and double. And then array name. Array name is an identifier name. You can give it any according to the identifier naming rules, as we have explained in the previous videos. This is the size. Size is the number of elements which we want to store in the array, and these are the values. So let's move to code now. You can get a better idea of it from there. I'll declare an integer array. So data type is int. I'm giving a name arr. This is an array name. I can give it any name, one, two, three, or whatever. So I am just giving it arr. This is the size. I want to declare five elements in this array. This is just the declaration. And if you want to continue the initialization part with it, we can do it like this: equal to one, two. Three, four, five. So these are my five elements which stored under the one name. If you compare it with the previous example, you can see that in the previous example we have declared five elements but with five different names. But here we have declared five integers with only the one name. Now I'll tell you that how to retrieve the value from the array, how to print the value from the array. The array values are stored on the index. You can see it here. The retrieving thing. The array values are stored on the index. So what are indexes? The indexes start from zero. The one is stored on error zero. The two error one, error two, error three, error and four. So this go on like five values: zero, one, two, three, four. The index will always start from zero. We'll just print the values. Is percent D? I'll put a backslash and over here. Error zero. So I'll just copy this line and print all the five values. I'm changing it to one, two, three, and four. I'll just compile it. No errors. Running it. See, you can see that. Error zero value is one. Error one value is two. Error two value is three. Error three value is four. Error four value is five. This goes on like this. We can uh, uh, store any values in this, like ninety nine, ninety six, sixty five, thirty four, forty two, thirty two. These are the five integers. See. No, error zero is ninety nine. Error one is seventy six. Error two is sixty five. Error three is thirty-four, and error four is thirty-two. The last value. One thing you need to remember here that uh, do not uh, confuse between the size and the index. This is the size that five elements will be stored in this array, and these are the indexes that on zeroth index there is the ninety-nine store. On first position there is seventy-six. On second position there are sixty-five. On third position there are sixty-four, and on fourth position there is thirty-two. So these are five values: zero, one, two, three, and four. If you want to change any value further in the program, you can change it like this. We will change the third position. Now this is this is the index. This is not the size. This is the size, and this is the index. We'll change the value to eighty-seven. Put a semicolon over here. Now we'll print. The error three. I put a semicolon. We'll just compile it and run it. You can see the last value is printed eighty seven because this is error three because we have changed it. So this is about the declaration of the array and initializing with it and uh, how to retrieve values from one D array. So oh, the next video is about the declaration and how to retrieve values from two D array. Thank you.